What's going on, folks? I'm Dave Swift from ClientAmp.com, and today we have a product showcase. This is where we work with one of our long-term trusted partners. In this case, it is Cloudways, and we demonstrate some of their amazing features, uh, the things that they make available for really reasonable prices. Today, we're focused on WordPress security. So WordPress is obviously hugely popular. I have a lot of people that watch my channel also use WordPress. I own a WordPress agency. I manage WordPress websites for clients. So this is something near and dear to my livelihood. And keeping those sites secure basically is keeping your reputation secure. So we want to make sure that we're always using best in class options to not put either our own sites or our client sites at risk. That's what we're we'll focusing on here is all the stuff you can easily add with often no cost to you if you're already using Cloudways. They're just available settings you can turn on. If you're not using Cloudways, I've got a link. You can switch over. They, they'll do migrations for you. Uh, I think the first one is free. Otherwise, they've got a great migration tool. You can do it yourself. That's a topic I've covered in another video. We can probably link to that as well. But for now, let's just get right into what Cloudways offers in terms of security, because I think it's actually fairly staggering when you put it all together. So I'm going to go ahead and just get logged into my Cloudways account here. This isn't one I use for production. This is what I just use for my videos here. Now, the great thing about Cloudways is that if you have clients and they don't want you to host, you can create an account for them using their affiliate program here and actually just earn a commission every single month. And then the responsibility of actually hosting the server is on Cloudways. So they get good service. You get to earn money on a monthly reoccurring basis. It's a really good option. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just spin up a server here and I'm gonna install WordPress right away. So the one I like to use often is their WooCommerce installation because it basically just gives you WordPress that's optimized for WooCommerce without a lot of fussing about it. Just one click and boom, your WordPress installation is up and running. If you never spun up a WordPress website on Cloudways before, it's super easy. They let you use any provider you want. Now, Cloudways is owned by DigitalOcean, so I always think it's kind of a good idea to work with them because obviously they're gonna, you know, tightly integrate. But if you have a preference for another provider, you can definitely do that. I know a lot of people love Vulture. Vulture went away from Cloudways for a little bit, but now they're back. So, hey, that's great. I mean, if you love Vulture, you can continue to use them. Then it's really easy to choose the size of your server. So you can just scale it up or down here. You can see that if I get too low, they're just gonna give me a little warning like, hey, you're running WooCommerce, you probably want more RAM than that. So if you're doing a staging site, cool, you will still let you start up the site, but you probably are gonna need more resources than that for a you know in-production WooCommerce site. And when you got everything looking how you want, you just click launch now and wait a few minutes, grab a cup of coffee, and when you come back, your site will be ready to build. You can see here, it's just gonna take like seven minutes or so. Sometimes it goes a little faster depending on network congestion. Just pop down to six, that definitely wasn't a minute. Now, while I'm waiting for my site to spin up, I wanna just talk about a few things that I think are most important when it comes to WordPress security. The first one is a server level firewall. A lot of security plugins that you might put on your WordPress website live at the application level, and that can be good too. I'm not saying those plugins are completely useless, but you want something that's going to protect you at the server level, because if the bad guys get into the application, meaning they're already inside of your server, you're in some pretty bad shape because they can do bad stuff at the server level. So that's why we wanna keep people out. It's like having a safe room in your house. Yeah, you might get a panic room. Remember that old Jodie Foster movie? You wanna be able to go in there if there's bad guys in your house, but wouldn't it be a lot better if the bad guys never get into your house to begin with? That is what a server level firewall is gonna do for you. Next up is keeping your WordPress website updated. That means both security patches, updates, core, plugins, themes, there's a lot to do. So I'm gonna show you in this video how Cloudways makes it dead simple to make sure that your website is always up to date. And obviously don't install nulled plugins, you're just asking for trouble. The next thing I recommend everybody have is some type of vulnerability scanner so that you know when your plugins are out of date because we all have good intentions and maybe you have a schedule, you update your plugins you know, once a week or once a month, not everybody can do it more frequently than that, but if there is a problem with some software on your website, you need to get a notification so you can get that thing patched as quickly as possible. And by the way, all this stuff I'm telling you, I'm gonna show you how to do it on Cloudways very shortly here, so stay tuned. The last security point that I wanna mention that's super important to have 
is an SSL certificate. If you're still using an old shared hosting provider that tries to charge you extra for an SSL certificate, it is time to dish them and move over to Cloudways because Cloudways gives you one for free that is good for 99.9% .9 of e-commerce sites out there. Sure, there's gonna be that 0.001% of you that has some special need where you have to pay extra for some SSL certificate. For the general population, the included free SSL certificate is perfectly fine. It's going to keep your site secure. Now, the whole point of this is not just to get a padlock in the URL bar, although that is important. I won't even visit a site if it doesn't have that. By the way, it doesn't make logical sense. If I'm not sending information, it's not gonna hurt me just looking at it. But the point is that padlock actually represents something. It means that the information being sent from your user to your website is encrypted so that if someone did get access to it, they were able to intercept the data as it was going over the intertubes, well, they wouldn't be able to view that data without having some way to crack that code, which currently I think that hasn't been done yet. Knock on wood. I'm sure AI is right on there on the corner going to destroy all encryption and then there just be, will be an arms race, but I digress. You're safe for now. Just make sure you've got that free SSL certificate installed. All right, my WordPress website is done installing. Let's go ahead and check it out here. And we'll look at all of the security features that are available to you as a Cloudways user. So the first thing I'm gonna do actually is go over to the sidebar here and under my Cloudways flexible dropdown, I'm gonna choose my applications. And you can see here, I've got this site that I created called widgets. I'm gonna sell widgets. So I can click on this and now we can start to dig into some of the security settings. First, and I feel like most importantly, if you're not good with WordPress or you just know enough about yourself to know that you're not good at keeping things updated that's not in your skill set, what you're gonna wanna do is head over to the bottom of the list here and go to safe updates. Safe updates will automatically update your website in a way that will not break it. So let me show you how this works. With safe updates, it's not free. You're gonna end up paying $3 an application if you have less than five applications. Applications, by the way, websites. If you have less than five websites, as soon as you get more than that, it drops down to $2 per application a month. All right, now here is what it's gonna do for you. You can obviously update your website at any time with a single click. That's great, you don't even need to log into WordPress. Just go ahead and log into your CloudWave dashboard. You can update from there. Next, you can schedule updates. So the updates will happen automatically at a time that works best for you. Remember, there is a very brief window where your website will become inaccessible during an update. So it's best to do it during your non-peak hours when people are not trying to check out from your store. Now, it's important to note that when Cloudways updates your site, remember it's called safe updates because what it's doing is three different types of testing to make sure your site isn't somehow struggling with the new installation. The first thing it does is called visual regression testing. Now the idea here to kind of make it simple is they take a lot of screenshots of your website. What does it look like before the update? Then they perform the update and compare what does it look like now? Is stuff in drastically different places? Oops, maybe something broke. Let's automatically roll back the update. That's what visual regression testing is. And if you are not a WordPress expert, this is something that could literally save your site and save you hours of time for just you know a few bucks a month. On a similar front, they do something called end-to-end -end testing, where they perform tests to make sure that everything is still loading properly. Is the checkout page still there? Are the products coming up the way that they should? So this is all done automatically for you to make sure your store remains online, even after automatically updating. And just to be sure some funkiness doesn't completely bork your website, because I've actually had this happen before where you install an update, it's supposed to give you some new feature or fix some bug, but it actually causes another one that maybe sucks up all of the memory on your site and then it just slows down to a snail's pace. So what they do is performance testing. How fast was the site before the update? How fast is the site after the update? Really, really nice, this all happens automatically. And if you're wondering, this works for plugins in the WordPress repository, as well as premium plugins and themes you might have purchased anywhere. It's not limited to any sub collection of tools. They'll update whatever you have a license for. Turning on safe updates is as easy as clicking this blue button here. I'll click it. It says, wait while we add safe updates. And now it's available. Using this feature is dead simple. We can choose between on demand, meaning like I manually go in and update stuff. I can just 
oh, let's go ahead and update WordPress core. Let's update these plugins. And you can see at a glance what your current version is versus what's available to you. Now, I just created this website. Everything's already up to date for me. But if I wanted to update something, I would just select it over here and then click the update button. Now, the really powerful feature of safe updates is the ability to have it do updates on your behalf. So you'll go over here where it says schedule and you can set up a schedule that works for your business. Remember, I said to choose a time where you're least likely to get orders because you don't want that really small sliver of time where your site is inaccessible. So you can set any day of the week that you'd like here and then choose a time that makes sense for you. If you don't want it to update everything, because believe me, I know there's definitely plugins out there that you probably use who you are skeptical that they are going to fry your site and you don't want to trust anything just because you don't, you know that they're not reliable. Well, you can update the list of tools that are actually updated right here down to the specific theme or plugins you actually want updated automatically. Just make sure that you log in from time to time and perform an on-demand update if you don't let everything get updated automatically. There's notifications for everything here. You can have a pre-notification to let you know there's an update coming. Maybe you wanna prepare. There is a successful update notification in case you wanna have a party and an aborted update in case you need to take some quick action, figure out what's going on with your site. Maybe something is vulnerable and didn't get patched. You gotta swoop into action there. Maybe hit up the support on Cloudways. They're always just a click away right over here. Okay, so this checks the box of one of the points I brought up earlier that you need to find a way to keep your site updated. Safe Updates is gonna do that even if you are not responsible at all. So next, let's talk about the first thing I mentioned, which was having a server level firewall to make sure that no bad guys ever get into your house, so to speak. Now, Cloudways has this partnership with another company that kind of sounds similar. They're called Cloudflare. And if you're newer to the WordPress game, you might have heard these two companies and maybe even confused them because they both start with the word cloud. But Cloudflare and Cloudways, very different tools. They actually work together because they obviously have a partnership. Cloudflare is enterprise level, but it also works for very small sites. If you want to get enterprise quality software from Cloudflare, you're looking at thousands of dollars per month. Somehow, Cloudways has a deal with them to let you get access to their enterprise level tools for as low as like two bucks a month if you have 25 plus sites. If you only have a couple, you might be paying $5 a month, but for everything you're going to get, it is well worth it. With the Cloudflare Enterprise add-on from Cloudways, you're gonna get access to Cloudways' fastest CDN at dirt cheap prices. So what this means is, a CDN is going to store the files of your website at different locations, hundreds of different locations all over the globe. And then wherever someone visits your site from, it doesn't matter if they're in Utah or Iceland, there's gonna be a server near them that's got those files cached locally and can instantly spit them out and make your site load blazingly quick. So that's not about security, but it's still really cool. Next, you're gonna get the Cloudflare Managed WAF. WAF, by the way, stands for Web Application Firewall. This is the firewall I was talking about previously. It's managed at the Cloudflare level, so no one's even getting into your server. It's keeping your server as well as your application safe. You get some more speed fun here. They'll do image optimization for you. Typically, if you were to buy Cloudflare on your own and you didn't opt for the enterprise level, you might go for something like Cloudflare APO, which is five bucks a month, but guess what? That doesn't include image optimization. If you wanna get image optimization, you need to go up to Cloudflare Pro, which is $25 a month. And we're getting it here for just five and you get all of the enterprise level features as well. I have seriously no idea how Cloudways is able to offer this to their customers. Cloudflare is also going to do some mobile optimization for you. You can see here it says, Cloudflare empowers web businesses to deliver fast, secure, and device specific content to enhance the experience of mobile users. So what this means is they're gonna make sure that your application, your website is gonna load well on the phone. Now it's not gonna change, it's not gonna do mobile responsiveness for you. If your site's not mobile responsive, I mean, where have you been living? You need to have a mobile responsive site. But what it will do is make sure that any unnecessary files or anything that could potentially be more insecure on the phone than on the desktop, that's all taken care of for you and you don't need to worry about it. You're also gonna get DDoS protection. And what that means is sometimes bad guys out there try to take down your website 
by sending lots of bots, junk traffic to your site. It slows down your server and then your regular customers can't check out. Then you might receive an email asking for a few thousand dollars to have the attack go away. It's kind of reminiscent of like what you'd see in an old movie on organized crime. They actually do this. And if you're using DDoS protection from Cloudflare, they'll be able to sort that out for you. So your customers can still visit the site and they'll filter out all of that junk bot traffic so that it's not gonna slow down your site. And finally, for that just five bucks a month, you're gonna get edge page caching, which means that your entire site, not just the images, not just the JS files, but the entire site can be cached and served from all of those different pop locations, all of those different servers that are all over the globe, making sure that your entire site, not just your images, loads lightning fast. You usually have to pay at least $5 a month for just this one feature alone on WordPress websites. Now I'm gonna set up Cloudflare right now on my new website, but in order to do that, I'm gonna set up a domain name so there's something to connect up to Cloudflare. So I'm gonna head over to Domain Management, and then I'm gonna click on this button here where it says Add Domain. Now from here, I just type in the domain that I own. It's not gonna sell you a domain right here. You'll probably wanna do that through a registrar like Namecheap or you know whatever you like to use to buy your domains. I have this domain here. I'm working on a new AI project. It's called Clavin.ai. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Save Changes. And now my domain is being added to my website. Now the primary domain is still the Cloudways one, so I need to shift this over. I'll click on the three dots and choose Make Primary. And it's asking for confirmation here. I'll say Set as Primary. And while this is happening, I need to make sure I actually go ahead and point my DNS server from, I use Namecheap, over to Cloudways to kind of connect those two dots up. So Namecheap knows that I'm using Cloudways for my website. So to do this, I'm just gonna grab my IP address right here. I'm over on the server level. If you got lost, you'd wanna go over to your servers right here and then just click right on your uh, server information and you can copy the public IP address right there. Then you can set up some DNS routing. Now we're gonna change this later when we go through Cloudflare, but I'm gonna go ahead and set it up right here so you can see how to set up a domain name in case you don't end up using Cloudflare with your Cloudways account. So what I'm gonna do is inside of Namecheap, I'm over in advanced DNS and I'll choose add new record and I'll make an A record that goes to the at symbol. That means like you're just plain domain name with nothing before it. Then I'll enter in that IP address I copied to my clipboard and then just hit the check mark. Now, I also want something to happen if someone happens to type www before they enter in the domain name. So for this, I'm gonna use something called a CNAME record. A CNAME is a redirect. So in this case, I want www to redirect to my actual domain name. So here I'll just enter in the root domain name. In this case, it's claven.ai and I'll hit the checkbox. All right, those two simple DNS entries will have me covered for 99% of my web setup issues. You can go a little bit deeper in this in another video, but let me know if you have problems with DNS. Okay, so at this point, I could visit my new website at claven.ai. I'm just inside of the access details of my application. Let's go ahead and check this out and make sure it's all loading okay. All right, now it's loading, but I'm getting a message that says not secure. So it's time to address one of those other issues. We're gonna come back and talk about Cloudways a little bit more, but we've gotta get that SSL certificate set up. And to do this on Cloudways is super easy. So inside of our application settings, I'll just go right here where it says SSL certificate. I'm gonna use Let's Encrypt. Now, if you have a custom SSL, they'll let you do that as well. You'd have to purchase it somewhere and you can upload it here. But for now, Let's Encrypt free and it's gonna work brilliantly, as I mentioned, for 99.9% .9 of use cases. All right, I'll enter in my email address here. They're gonna let me know if there's a problem with the SSL certificate at this email address. So use a real one and then just enter in your domain name right here. Then you hit install certificate. By the way, this is completely free, included with your typical Cloudways hosting. You don't have to use safe updates or Cloudflare, any of those add-ons to get this SSL certificate set up. Okay, so I'm just waiting while this certificate installs. And as soon as it does, we should be able to visit our site without any issues. I got the message that it's been installed successfully, so we're good to go here. Let's try it out. All right, there it is, my site loaded very quickly. Everything is looking pretty good. It's just a plain default WordPress installation, so nothing really to look at here quite yet. Now we've already accomplished a lot when it comes to securing our website. We have set up an SSL certificate, which is really important. 
And we have also set up automatic updates. So any out of date plugins are not going to leave our site vulnerable to hackers getting in. But I think we still need to set up that web access firewall using Cloudflare to make sure we are protected at the server level. So let's head back over to Cloudflare right here. And I'm going to go ahead and enter my domain name in here. I'll hit enable. Now it says enabling Cloudflare integration for your application. And I've got this little spinning wheel here. In a few moments, I'm going to get some instructions on what to do next to connect up my domain name to Cloudflare. It can do a lot for us, but it's going to need a little bit of help to get access to that domain name to make sure it has all of the security enabled. And there we go. It's now available. I just need to go ahead and set up the next steps. To do this, I'm going to go over here where it says view CNAME records. I'll click on this and I get a list of just a few records I need to add into my DNS settings over on Namecheap or wherever you purchase your domain name. Now, if we look at these records, you can see there's one for the at symbol and one for www. So this is exactly or very similar to what we did before. Now we're just replacing the information. Instead of sending it to Cloudways, we're going to send them over to Cloudflare because Cloudflare and Cloudways are already talking. They know how to get along. So I really only need to grab this host name right here. I'll go back over to my DNS settings. And now I'm going to create a new record here. In fact, I want to get rid of this A record because if you look closely, Cloudways is actually telling me to use C name records. Now there's also a disclosure down here that not all DNS providers accept C name records for the root domain. So let's find out if Namecheap is going to allow this. If it doesn't, it's okay. We have a way to work around it. I'll explain that as well in case you run into this issue. So I'm going to trash my A record here and then I'll add a new record and I'm going to call it a C name record. I'm not going to call it that. It's what it is. Now here I'll do the at symbol and then I'm going to paste in that host name that I grabbed a moment ago. Then I'll hit the check mark and we're good to go. At least halfway there. I still need to update the www to have that same host name. For this, I don't need to create a new record. I'll just edit the existing one and hit the checkbox. And now this should be all set up. Now, if you ran into an error, maybe you're doing this on another platform and it didn't let you enter these, you can actually do the same thing with a records. And to get that information, you'll just click right here on this disclosure and it's going to give you some a records you can follow exactly. The only difference is there's two values, meaning that you'll have to enter both of the records in order to take full advantage of the Cloudflare load balancing configuration. All right, because I'm done here, I'm going to hit close and then I'm going to hit this reload button. It's going to go and just check to make sure I've got the right DNS settings. All right, it says your domain ownership has been successfully verified. Now this can take a while to get fully set up. It says up to 24 hours, depending on your DNS service provider. I don't think it'll be that long, but for now, let's look at some of these benefits we're going to get for our $5 per month using the Cloudflare enterprise add-on. In the overview section, we can see our bandwidth that we've used. We can purge the Cloudflare cache, which is important because sometimes you make changes locally and you want it to go out to all of the different points of service that Cloudflare offers. By purging the cache, it's going to automatically do that for you as soon as someone visits the page again. And if you don't want to clear the entire cache, you can use the smart cache purge, which is going to only clear the modified portions of your cache rather than clearing out the entire website. In the settings panel, you're going to see options for a ton of different WordPress speed optimizations. You can go through and turn on the ones or turn off the ones that you think are right for your site. One I like to turn on is edge caching. I think this is great. It does say that this is automatically going to bypass their varnish page caching to avoid conflict, but that's a good thing. You want them to turn off varnish if you have edge caching on. And why wouldn't you want edge caching? It's great. It's so fast. The only security feature on this page is under attack mode. When you turn this on, it's going to help protect you against DDoS attacks. Only turn it on when you actually think you're under attack. But when you are, this is going to save your skin. There's an analytics tab over here where you can see some data about how much of your website is being cached. And finally, we want to head over to the security tab because this is where we're going to see any actual events that are happening on your website to make sure that it's being protected. And as you can see right now, there are no events, but this is a brand new website. So those are all of the benefits of using Cloudflare Enterprise add-on from Cloudways. Now, next, let's turn our attention to the vulnerability scanner. This will let us know if a plugin or a theme or even WordPress core itself has a vulnerability and you need to get things patched. 
The vulnerability scanner is powered by Patchstack, which is the leader in this market. And there's really nothing to do here until there is something to do. So you're gonna be able to log in here and see any potential threats. But right now I'm all clean and good to go. If there was a threat, it would give me advice on what I need to upgrade and what version is safe to use. Getting this built in is amazing because it's just one less thing to configure and set up. Patchstack does have a free plugin that you could use on any WordPress provider, but to have every single site automatically have a vulnerability scanner, it just makes sure that you're not gonna accidentally make a huge mistake that could cost you or your clients you know, your entire business reputation. You would hate to see one of your clients get hacked and it just be because you didn't have vulnerabilities monitored. That would be a disaster. Next, let's talk about malware protection, which is the idea that your website can automatically be scanned and monitored to make sure there's no malware already running inside of the application. This is a huge peace of mind. Now, this is another add-on. It starts at $4 per month, but what it's gonna do for you is give you that assurance that there's nothing living inside of your installation. And that is huge for peace of mind. You see here, you get phishing protection, system protection, database protection, malware cleanup, as well as proactive defense and some other protection. It says robust protection against all cyber attacks. Now, basically the most common thing that's going to happen is if you get infected, they're gonna change the core files of WordPress. They're gonna start to tweak those so that they can weasel their way in with their software. So what malware is often going to do is check those files and if anything has been modified, they'll just simply replace it with the original core files, keeping your site secure. Now you might feel like all of these little fees are nickel and diming you, but add it all up, it is cheap. If you just saw that price for all of them together, you'd be like, yeah, I get all of these features on my site for this low price per month. What is it if we add up Cloudflare, $5, malware protection, $4, and then safe updates, I think was $3. I mean, this is a bargain. You almost certainly spend more money on coffee every month. I know that's cliche, but like, I'm talking about the beans. Like if you make this at home, you're still spending more money on coffee. The best thing is like to enable it, you just click enable protection and then it's enabled. There's nothing else you need to do. Scanning right now, it's so simple. I don't have to deal with even logging into WordPress. You can see any malware that was infected right here. You'll have a scan history, and then you can see your proactive defense, and there's no incidents that are detected here. So you just click one button, and now we are protected from malware. We already have a great firewall. Our website is going to be updated regularly. Cloudways is a beast when it comes to WordPress security. You really gotta give them credit here. They went out to all of the best WordPress security companies, partnered with them, brought them into their platform and made it super easy for regular people like you and I to add it to our websites for reasonable prices. I mean, this is almost too good to be true. I really can't recommend this enough, especially if you are not certain about anything I've mentioned. If you feel like this is over your head, this is the way to do it. This is dead simple. So that is security from Cloudways. Thank you very much to Cloudways for supporting this video. If you wanna support this channel, make sure you click on my link for Cloudways down below so that they know that you came to them through us. My name is Dave Swift. I will see you in the next video. Ask any questions or comments down below. I'm always checking, I check frequently. I should probably pay more attention to my family, but YouTube comments are too fun. All right, I'll see you in the next one.